If you play a lot of games on your phone, you'd really appreciate some features built into the OS like an FPS counter so you can quickly keep tabs on the performance of your games and many more, which is what Android 12's gaming dashboard offers. And in this video, we'll go through all its features and how they work during gameplays. Hey guys, this is Philips Future. Drop a like to this video and let's get started. Now, Google recently pushed an update to the beta channel of Android 12 and in that update, they added a gaming mode that they call Gaming Dashboard. As the name suggests, you get features that you'll really find useful while playing games on your phone. So to get to the Gaming Dashboard, go to the Settings, then Notifications, scroll down to find Do Not Disturb, and hit the Schedules menu. Here you can add a schedule or even see the schedules available like Sleeping, Event, Bedtime and Gaming, but we are here for that Gaming mode. So hit that settings icon alongside it and we are taken to the game settings page. Inside here you can enable the game dashboard that will show shortcuts while you're in the games that we'll get to in a second. The other option here is do not disturb for games and this will basically stop the notification system from displaying notification pop-ups in the games so you don't get interrupted gameplays in session. Other manufacturers like OnePlus have some of these features in their fanatic mode already but at least we now have it in stock Android. Enough of the talking, now let's hop into some games and see the gaming dashboard in action. Inside any game, you will see this controller icon and you can drag and place it anywhere along the edges of your display to still get that full screen real estate when gaming. Tapping on it, you will see a settings icon at the top left of the screen and this will take you to the settings page that we've been a minute ago. Below that, you'll get some icons, the first one being a screenshot icon, and this will add a screenshot shortcut to the controller icon for quickly taking screenshots in the game. Let's see that in action. As you can see, tapping on the icon will capture the screen's content easily without me reaching to the volume down and the power buttons to just do that. Next to that is a recording icon, and this also adds the shortcut when you tap on it, but this time when toggling it on, screen recorder will kick off right in the game anytime you want to capture the gameplays, to either share or just save it on your gallery for later. The other icon is an FPS counter and this will display the current frame rate that the game is refreshing on up to 60 or 120 FPS depending on the game support or your display's frame rate. So inside the games you can tell whether your CPU is throttling when you lose frames below the standard frame rate of your display. Lastly there is a do not disturb button that will now turn on do not disturb so you don't get interrupted while in the game. Below that there are some other cards, the first one being an optimization card that will optimize the game you're currently in if it's supported that is, and secondly a YouTube live button if you want to quickly and directly stream your gameplay to YouTube which is really handy. Inside the game you can still drag the shortcuts and minimize it to again get that full screen real estate. I personally like to place it at the corners where there are no game controls. And that's the gaming dashboard or gaming mode depending on what you decide to call it in a nutshell. Anyway, let me know in the comments if you have any kind of gaming mode on your phone and what games you play so you can also explore more. This feature will eventually come to all Android phones running Android 12 when the beta hits full stability. By the way, I have a full playlist of all cool changes to Android 12, so I'll link that to anyone who is interested. That's it guys, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed and drop a like if you did, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye and most of all, Stay safe.